Persona Studio One Two Professional features a creative environment perfect for tracking, mixing, mastering, and distributing your music. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get started with Studio One Two Professional. Here we are at the start page. This gives us an overview of recent song sessions and mastering projects we've been working on, as well as news feeds and demos from Personas. Let's start off by creating a new song so we can explore the user interface. Studio 1.2 features a single window workflow environment. Here is where you can add audio and instrument tracks with the plus button. The arrange view contains the audio and MIDI events from your song. The track column has all the track types, folders, and automation data created within your song. This makes it easy to see which tracks are playing, which are packed in folders, and quickly reference automation information. To open the inspector, click on the I icon next to the track list button, or use key command F4. From here, you can access the selected track's channel strip, which includes your tempo modes, which define how audio events behave in relation to the timeline, delay compensation, automation controls, insert effects, your sends, and other parameters. To bring up the mixer or console, click on the mix button found on the bottom of the browser column, or use the key command F3. You can detach the console or mixer by clicking on the pop-out button here. This is a great feature if you have a multi-screen setup, as it allows you to fit the mixer on a separate screen. Now you can monitor both the arrangement and channel strips together. To access the audio editor and piano roll, just double click on a clip within the arrange view or use key command F2. Below the arrange view you'll find the transport bar where you can toggle playback, change song tempos, and set up MIDI devices. To the right of the arrange view is the browser. From this column you can bring virtual instruments into your song's arrangement by drag and dropping them into the timeline. You can also browse for effects, samples, audio loops, as well as access the song pool which has all the audio files being used in your session. You can toggle between the different songs via the drop down menu located in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Another great feature of Studio 1-2 Professional is that you can run as many songs as your computer can handle. So what this means is that you can manually assign the amount of CPU cores. Check this out. From the Studio 1 drop down menu, choose Preferences and navigate to the audio setup. Here you can check off the number of CPU cores you would like to assign to Studio 1-2, making Studio 1-2 Professional a robust tool for any production. If you want to learn more about Persona Studio 1-2, check out these recommended videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.